never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. I will never cry for you, cry for you, cry for you, cry for you. I can take this anymore. You say we're done. Hi guys and welcome to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Amanda and I do all things home decorating and a little bit of cooking, DIYs, and organizing. If you like that, I would appreciate if you would go right now and subscribe to my channel. But today we are in the pantry trying to get our lives together as you can see. It's not a large pantry but it's not small either. I never realized how much crap was in here until I pulled everything out. You are going to die when you see it all laid out. This area was used as a coat closet before we moved in, so we tore down the two shelves that were way up on the walls, so we were then able to get these shelves in here. This room is right off the kitchen, and I'm so used to a larger pantry than what is in the kitchen beside the refrigerator. There's like a smaller area that you can use as a pantry, but where we came from before our old house, before this one, we had a large pantry, so I definitely needed this space. And you can see where doing this left the walls looking not so pretty right here. And I planned on painting them in this video, but it didn't work out that way. So maybe I can do it at a later time. And I don't know if you saw a minute ago, but there were a lot of things that I bought for this project and I just sat them on the floor in here. And I had been buying these things probably for the past year for this pantry makeover. And there's no way I could have bought all of this at once. So please don't think that you have to do that for your space to look nice. At the end, you will see that this doesn't turn out to be a Pinterest worthy pantry. However, it looks much better and it really works for us and it just feels great to have it done. And I don't know what I was thinking when I thought that everything from this pantry could fit just on the kitchen table. You will see in a minute that I had to get out a second table and I put all the food on one and all the small appliances and stuff like that on the other. These spice jars I got from Amazon, they come with really cute labels and I love the bamboo lids because it matches the lids to the containers and jars that I'm already using. And I will have these linked below, but I am not kidding at all when I tell you I've had these spice jars for about six months and they're just sitting in the pantry floor waiting for me to do this pantry makeover and to continue and buy things that I need for it. And I do end up putting these um, spice jars in a cabinet beside my stove instead of the pantry because for me that just makes sense. And one way to keep track of things after you decant them is just to grab a chalk marker from somewhere and write the date on the bottom. My heart is beating to your drum and I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes Not thinking twice in my this down Although I know you're all I want How could I crave something so bad? My sweaty palms reveal a warning I should hear But I don't care, you drive me mad I'll ignore the truth and run to you Can't help myself. You know, 
So this is what I meant earlier by having to get out a whole other table. It is unreal how much this pantry can truly hold. There is so much randomness <laughs> that I have come across and I am just really embarrassed by how much I let this get out of hand. Um, we've only lived in this house just now. Um, in December it was a year. So I'm just going to go with the, I'm just now feeling the flow of this new house saying to make myself feel better. I have two bins for baking stuff. I can't even begin to tell you how old these orange bins are. Um, but I don't usually bake, but my daughter, um, she's 12 and she loves to bake. So she will really appreciate how organized and clutter-free her baking space ends up turning out. As you can see, over here are some things that I have bought over time to use for this project. And some of it I did use, but some of it I returned. And you just never know what you'll need until you get into a large project like this. And over to the right are the um, glass jars with the bamboo lids that I have been collecting for the past year that I've already started using. So you will see that this one space project ended up turning into a couple of other areas as well. We have this space over beside our fridge here that we use as a pantry space as well, but it's become a mess too, a catch-all, and I decided while I was hard at work, why just stop at one area? There's not a plug in the room that we are using for our big pantry, but there is one in here for some reason, so I like to charge my hand vac and also the handheld scrubber that I love using to clean my gas top stove. And here are some labels that I got from Amazon for the jars that I already had stuff in, like noodles and flour and sugar and everything. Um, I took a little video for you guys so you could screenshot it and see what all they had on there. There's like hundreds of labels, hundreds of words, all the noodles, all the everything that's not considered a spice. There's even just small words like snacks and sweets and stuff like that. I love it. I will have it linked below. I also wanted to work on getting everything as much out of their packaging as I could. It not only looks good, but it feels good. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but think of all the trash that is actually inside a pantry. All the packaging and the boxes and recycling, almost everything comes in a box. So if you go through and decant everything, it really does feel good to get those boxes and trash out of there.
you made your bed, now lie in it, baby. Rest your head, let it dream about me. Cause I'm fed, fed up with you, crazy. I And it's always good to go into your space and kind of like map out where you think things should go and where everything can fit. I did purchase a few new baskets at Marshalls recently and again, I did not use them all and that's really great. For me, I always find having more for a project is better than not having enough <laughs> and that's coming from someone who is absolutely terrible with returns. We all have those things that we really don't know where to put but you just have to do what works for you and what makes sense to you and your family. And this is one of those bins with some backstock and just some random items. Now we are moving over to the other side of the pantry. I decided to make this more for my kiddos with the crackers and snacks and drinks. And I also put the baking stuff over here on this side as well. And these little brown paper things that like stick to your counter surface are so great when you're like rolling out cookies or having sprinkles. It really helps with the mess. And I will have the name of them and I will link them in the description box below. My heart is beating to your drum. And I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes Not thinking twice in my this down Although I know you're all I want My daughter loves ramen and eats it every day almost I don't know why I let her but it's probably because she's at least she's eating But I don't care you drive me mad I'll know the truth and run to you Can't help myself. You know too well I need you close. Can't help myself. Try to stop me, but I'm under your spell. Can't help myself. I'm just going through a few bins now. Extra stuff like paper and party products and just extras and a lot of what I did with that table of random stuff was just to donate it and I did a lot of that off camera. And most of it I did with the small pantry area beside the fridge I did off camera too. But in just a sec I show you how that's coming along. I have one of those Ziploc bag organizers coming for these bags and you guys will not believe the price for the one I found. The ones I have found around are anywhere from $30 and more, but this one is a fraction of the price and I will have it listed below. Also, this is another cabinet that made it into this pantry video because there were some heavy items down here that I just needed to move higher. I had some stackable bowls and everything that I ended up moving from down there over to this side pantry, which is why I had to move stuff from this side pantry into the big pantry. And in the end, it really did feel good organizing more than I had planned. This is called a spice tower carousel, but I'm using it for sprinkles 
There are 12 little jars that can stack on top one another and even has a tiny little spinning turntable to put them on. I got this from Amazon and I just thought it was such a cute and fun different way to organize your sprinkles. I did wash these over at the sink and brought them back over to fill them up. And if you did want to use these four spices, it did come with a list of spice labels you can use for each one. I did decide to move these bins up to the top shelf to help hide the ugly strip on the wall that I wasn't able to paint in this video and I also ended up doing that on the other side as well and I think it was a great decision because it really does help hide it. And now I'm just real quick adding those last minute labels that I ordered to the noodles and everything turned out very cohesive. And don't worry if you don't have a Cricut, these labels turned out so pretty and they are very affordable. And here is where I was talking about bringing some of those small appliances down one shelf to help with hiding that part on the wall right here. Here's how that side pantry and cabinet turned out. You guys, there is so much space left over, I don't even know what to do. This really goes to show how decluttering one space, or in my case, a few small spaces, can make your entire kitchen seem so much larger. If you guys would have done anything different with these spaces, please let me know. I'm up for any suggestions and we'll try anything. And here's the before pantry. And here is the after, the final product. You will have to let me know how you thought it all turned out and if you want to see more organizing videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Can't help myself You know too well